you're looking to locate the VIN number on a trailer or a non-standard vehicle, there's a couple common areas to look for. On a, um, a fifth wheel trailer, you might find it on the gooseneck section of the frame. You may also locate it um, on the very far back section of the driver's side of the frame. Sometimes it's put there where the license plate would be. Non-standard vehicles such as trailers or campers don't necessarily have a standardized location for the VIN number, but most manufacturers kind of adhere to a, um, a general location. If it's a trailer, it's going to be on the tongue or near where the hitch goes. If it's a camper, it might be inside the entry door frame. Sometimes you'll find it on a plate that's affixed to where the utilities enter, water or electrical uh, or the dump valves. Uh, if it's a cargo trailer, a lot of times where the, um, the secure locking uh, lever for that back door is, there'll be that uh, tag with the VIN number attached to it. On older trailers or older campers, sometimes you might have to go underneath to where the original frame was laid down. The first thing they'll do is put the VIN number. So on the original frame as it's laid down, they'll put the, um, the VIN tag attached there because some of these trailers, it wasn't known what type of structure would be added later. It might have been a cargo trailer, it might have been a wood flatbed, it might have been a camper. So when they lay down the frame, they put the VIN number on it first and then they attach all the other things later. So you may have to, to look for where that is. If it's been modified by the owner after original manufacture, it might be more difficult. We've seen um, trailers where the VIN number was put on the frame and then some other piece of metal was attached over the VIN number. So that might be difficult. So the first places to look are on the tongue or the gooseneck where the hitch is. Second of all, on the door jam where you enter into a camper. And then last on the, the cargo entry door where the latch is, there might be a VIN number there. Those are the most common places to look. It might be a needle in a haystack or you might have to look other places, but start with those. And then um, if you have to look further, you might find a user group for that manufacturer that has some information about that particular model or manufacturer of trailer.